got some coffee for the next video. Thanks for joining me at Jason's Lab, guys. So, mm, Tim Hortons coffee. I like them because we're in Canada. We like those, right? Some people say Canada. Don't know how. Anyways, 89 subscribers. Thank you, guys. Hopefully, I'm not drowning these videos so people are not liking them. I'm getting the requests, so I'm doing them. And, yeah. So, the first thing I want to say is... I bought an Untangle Home Pro license for $200 Canadian. Not for me, but for you guys, so I could show you all these videos. So, hopefully I can make the channel grow to make some revenue to maybe pay for more licenses and maybe give one away later or a device. Um, but $200 in my own pocket just to do videos, so hopefully they uh, help you guys out here. Today's video is going to be about security. Last video we talked about enabling 2FA on our command prompt. And then another video, we created VLANs and stuff like that. But what happens if we're on a VLAN and we don't want people to have access to the gateway, which would bring us to the uh, admin page of the firewall? Well, I have created a way to do that. Now, the normal way to do that would be to just, let's see here, log in to Untangle. So 192.168.8.1, right? So we can log into it because we're on the normal main Latin, uh, subnet here. Uh, we'll log in. So they say on the forums and on their web page to lock it down that all you have to do is go to config and then administration and then put a IP address in here for the subnet that you're doing. So right now we're doing 192.168.0.8. 8.0 slash 24 so anything on the 8 subnet can access that which is fine because it's my main network I trust that all those devices on there the other ones I don't trust will go on other subnets but what if you don't want you want it a little bit more secure than that so when you enable this what happens is people could still figure out what kind of firewall you have but they could also see the untangle GUI to maybe potential pound on it to get into it pretty hard to do because it's pretty secure but to take that one step further i've made it uh, another rule here to make it so when you type in the gateway address you can't even get to it it doesn't even show the web page so what i've done is i've blocked 443 and 80 so they just get a black or a blank web page so right now uh, i'm going to show you what it looks like when you have just this part enabled and then i'm going to show you what happens when you enable the other part so Let's try this. So right now I have to go to my config, uh, network, uh, advanced access rule. I have to disable this right now because if I don't disable, one of the things I'm gonna show you won't work. So we're gonna minimize this. Uh, we'll open up a new browser. Do I have Firefox on here? No, because I don't like Firefox, right. So let's minimize this. I'm gonna unplug the network and we're gonna to connect to a different network. Um, I don't think, actually you know, it might be easier just to tag it instead of going to VLAN. So here, hold on. Let's go at this and go 192.168.8.2. Let's log into our switch. We're gonna push port eight. Actually, I'm gonna verify that's all I'm gonna do. Uh, UBNT, UBNT. I've made so many changes to the switch. So let's just make sure that this works. So port eight will give us VLAN 10, so that's fine. And I've already blocked it for another reason. So let's log into this. So if we go to port eight, plug in, we'll minimize this. We'll get an IP address. Uh, let's go IP config to verify. We have a 10 address right here, right? I got a 10 address, but remember, we have to be on the 8 address to uh, get to that portal. So let's go with this and go HTTP 192.10.1 because we have our gateway address here, right? We see your gateway is this, so when you want to find out where the router is, you go to either the gateway address or you should know it. In this case, we know it. Have we tried typing in a password? It just says it's disabled. Administration is disabled. I like to go a little bit further, and I figured this out a couple years ago when I was working on Tango. So I want to make it so you can't even get to the actual web page. So 
let's go back to the other network. So back to one, so we have access. Boring, but uh, this is what I've done to lock things down, especially IoT. Um, I have an IPTV box that one night I was sitting here laying in bed and my phone started ringing like emails, notification, and it was scanning the network doing all these weird things and I was like, yeah, uh, yeah, it's only a matter of time. So we look right here, we go administration, you have to be on the 8 network and all it does is makes to the web page. What I've done is I've gone to config, uh, network, advanced, and then an access rule. Now I created a block rule. So if you look right here, I called it block IOT admin access. Actually, I'm gonna call it admin IOT and camera access. So what I've done is I've created a rule. Actually, yeah, so I've, I've named that, so that's one there. So I've created a rule that allows me to source interface and I've selected the IOT and the camera network because we don't want them to touch the gateway, either gateways. And then I blocked 443 and 80. And what it does is it doesn't even display the page, which is exactly what I want. So underneath here, so we went source is one of the interfaces, IOT and camera. The destination port, as you can see right here, port is 443, 80. And then I went destination address and I put both the gateway addresses in both of these because this rule is handling both of them. You could create two different rules if you want. I just put them into one. Uh, so we got 192.168.10.1. And then we got 192.168.8.1, which is blocking the main. So it can't even go there. You'd have to figure that out first if that was my main uh, gateway, but I just put it in there. And then 192.168.20.1. So I've blocked all those. So now if I enable this, Block, done, save. Also, just thought I'd let you know, this isn't double natting anymore. This has actually got an actual IP address through my um, ISP, so I can do um, some other videos that's coming up. Stay tuned, I'm gonna do a IPsec tunnel step for step. Okay, so this is enabled. Now, if we unplug this and plug this back into uh, port eight, remember how we could go to the gateway and we could see that Untangle was actually showing the web page? and you can put in a password, but it wasn't getting anywhere. Well, now let's see what happens. Let's close this. Wait for this to come back. Verify we got an IP address, we're on the right network. Only reason why I'm doing that is because last time I did a video like this, I forgot that it was on the uh, wireless and I'm like, why, why? And I'm like, Pfft. okay, so IP config, right? We got our 10 address, okay? Now if we go to 192.168.10.1, doesn't go anywhere, it just sits there. Can we ping it? Sure, probably. Ping 192.168.10.1, it's there. We know it's there, but it's just not displaying and it's not routing the traffic for those two services for 443 and 80. So that's one thing that I do. So that way for something on the network snooping around and it shows you, hmm, I can't reach this page. It's there, but it's not. So that's one thing that I do, especially on the IoT network when you have things snooping around, just one layer of extra of security that I do. So hopefully that helps you. Hopefully you guys want to implement that. If I made a mistake or if you don't like it or if it's something that shouldn't be done, let me know, but I still do it. So like and subscribe. Hopefully it was a good video. I'm gonna go drink my coffee now. Got lots left in there, but that's fine. I got more videos to make for you guys. So, have a great day.